Praise the Lord, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the 14th day of fasting and feasting. I hope you're all enjoying the time with the Lord and uh, you're following whatever you're uh, hearing every day. Uh, so far from uh, Monday to today, uh, till today, I've been seeing about loving your brothers and sisters in Christ, living in peace with them and being a part of the body of Christ and having a good fellowship with the brothers and sisters. And uh, today we are going to see about uh, caring for them because it says in the Bible, uh, which is also today's portion in Galatians 6, 9 and 10. So let us not grow weary in doing what is good, for we will reap at harvest time if we do not give up. So then, whenever we have an opportunity, let us work for the good of all and especially for those of the family of faith. So today uh, we are going to see about how to carry the burdens of our uh, neighbors, our, bo our brothers and sisters in Christ. You know, it's very easy to do charitable deeds. Even uh, for the past few days, we've been seeing about how to uh, be kind to one another, how to, uh, you know, show love to them. Uh, today, let's see about how we can carry their burdens. You know, it's not literally carrying their burden burdens, but it's about, uh, you know, praying for them. It's about sharing the good things that God has blessed us with. It's, uh, it's about uh, standing for them in the gap and praying for them. It's not just about giving your material things, but it's also about praying for them so you can share their burdens. Uh, there are two things. One is uh, um, sympathizing for somebody or empathizing for them. You know, sympathize anybody can do, but empathizing as a child of God, we have we are called to empathize with them. That is to you know feel the pain that they go through and to give you know to care uh, to uphold them in everything that they are going through, especially to their troubled times. You know we see it's very important as it says in Luke uh, ten twenty five to thirty seven. Uh, Jesus emphasizes us um, on on taking care of other people, especially when it starts with. This was, and behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? You know, the answer for this question that uh, Jesus gave was, it's a story about Good Samaritan. You know, that person, when he was wounded and rejected, even the religious people, the so-called priests and Pharisees and, uh, you know, scribes, they just left him uh, all alone to bleed and die but the Samaritan he took him and he uh, you know wiped all his wounds took him to a nearby inn gave money and took care of him so you know that kind of love uh, you know life we have we are called to live today because Jesus says if that's what you have to do to inherit eternal life and he says in Matthew 25 verses uh, 35 to 40 <coughs> he says for I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly I say to you, in as much as you did it, to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. So that's how important it is, my dear friends. You know, it's not very easy. It's not just that uh, giving money is very easy. You know, giving away your old clothes, which you have stacked up for years and years, to get rid of them and to, you know, clear your wardrobe. It's very easy. But, you know, to share your time, to uh, share the good things that God has blessed you with, it's very important. You know, that's a core thing, visiting someone who's, who's been in the hospital. You know, there might be someone in, in, your, in your church, or, uh, a member who doesn't talk to you much, but then if they are sick, it's your responsibility to go and pray for them to give them if they are in need to go and bless them. You know, think about the person, think about uh, the people whom you might have missed to help you know the neighbor at your uh, in your house or uh, the person who sits next to you in the classroom or in the college or at workplace you know they might have had some sort of a need which you knew you had to do it but you just walked away from that from them it says in proverbs you know <clears throat> 327 that that is a sin if you know that you, if you can do something good and if you just walk away from them, that's sin. So, you know, it's very important, you know, look past the outward appearance into the inner person, which is most important. They might be, 
so groaning inside and longing for someone to help them, to talk to them and to give them a word of appreciation, to lift them up from their depression. But, you know, we have to be aware and sensitive for them and we have to look past their, you know, everything and to their deep down soul where only the Lord can help you. Only the Holy, Holy Spirit can teach you. Just take one day at a time. I know it's not very easy to start all over a new day, but... You know, ask the Lord every single day to show you that one person whom you need to show kindness, that one person who needs something, that one person who needs a word of appreciation, that one person you need to pray for, stand in the gap and, you know, intercess for them. So we are called to carry their burdens. It says in Galatians 6 to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. You know, we are called to bear one another's burdens. It's easy to just walk away, but today let's make this, you know, this uh, uh, declaration to ourselves that we are going to help someone in need. We are not going to walk away from seeing a person being in need. No, no matter what kind of need it is, let's ask the Lord to help us to be a blessing to someone, to say a kind word to someone. Even when we are forced to tell something bad to someone, let's choose to be good to them. Let's, you know, make a, a firm decision that we will be good to them. Let's be a blessing to someone and let's, you know, put a smile on someone's face. As it says in Luke 14, 12, let's not expect, an, expect anything in return from anybody. You know, God is so good to us that He never expects anything from us. He never expects anything anything in return. In fact, Jesus says in Luke 12, 14, 12, that we are supposed to call those who, who cannot return the favor back to us, you know, for dinner or lunch or anything. We call the blind, the maimed, the sick. God is, God is asking us to make a difference. It says in the Bible that we, you know, Jesus, wherever he went, he cared for people. You know, he carried the light of God. He carried the spirit of God where uh, even if there was a death at some place, he carried life. Where there was sorrow, he carried joy. Where there was, you know, sickness, he carried healing. So we are called to make that difference you know share the burden of your brother or sister or relative or friend who's in need who's in desperate need you know it is so important my dear friends i like to read out the prayer of francis of assisi because it's it, it has been a great blessing to me i pray that this will be your prayer as well make this as your prayer it says lord make me an instrument of your peace where there's hatred let me sow love where there is injury, pardon. Where there is error, truth. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I pray this would be a great blessing to you, and let's make this decision of, you know, transforming ourselves. Let, let's make this decision every single day that we have to be a great blessing to someone. Let not a single day go past you without helping or touching somebody's life, my dear brothers and sisters. I hope this word is a great blessing to you. Uh, do catch us up on Skype. We meet every day at uh, 8 p.m. GST on Skype. So uh, I hope it will be a great blessing to you. God bless you.